Hello everybody and welcome to another Beyond All Reason video. Today we have a 1v1 on Feast of Hades with Contra again in blue on the bottom right hand corner of the map here playing an Armada Commander and looks like he's planning to go bots versus Zlow, a content creator, Russian content creator I believe. Um, there's a lot of uh, Supreme Commander content and he is in red today and hasn't decided what factory he's going to go. But uh, it looks like bots. But zooming out on the map, instantly we see a big difference in start position here. Now, as you briefly saw, the start boxes on this map are as follows. Thought I've ignored that extra line, but uh, are as follows like this. And you can see you basically have a choice of four start positions here, 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 here. And uh, maybe it's a little bit higher like that. I don't know. But uh, must be. Uh, we can see that Zlo has actually chosen to spawn very far forward. Um, and when we looked at this map in the past, uh, that was important for a few reasons. Now, in the middle, press up four here, we can see all the metal points on the map very clearly. And you can see here that these two in the very middle are free. And there's ones on the hill, but the ones in the bottom corner and the top right corner are also free metal. So they are substantially better than the 1.9 of the rest of the map. Now, again, slow being this far forward does give him an advantage here. If he's able to get into the metal very quickly into the middle, he can get all of that metal for himself and lock it down from Contra. And also, if he's able to defend the sides, he's got a lot more room to go backwards that he's not contesting for the metal. Whereas it does leave him very exposed. And right now is a prime example of that. As the sheer quantity of ticks coming out from Contra at the moment does make Zlow a bit exposed and having to defend from so many angles. Luckily enough though, he's done a pretty decent job. Does look like he might end up losing this single constructor here. Great micro around the crystals, but luckily enough, Zlow manages to keep that constructing bot. Does lose out on the resources he put into that radar tower though, however. Some great micro going on from Contra here. You can hear all the clicking as he's going to try and zap down that construction bot very quickly. And he does manage to get it off. Shows the power of ticks. They do quite a significant amount of damage if you let them hit a target for long enough. It's 20 to, 21 to 42. Manages to pick off that last metal extractor as well. And it's just keeping slow, running around in circles here. Or even going as far to destroy the wreck. Oh, the wreck manages to stand. And with not much left in it. But he will be able to now resurrect that. Which he is actually going to do right now. Very well played. Does look like Contra is going to try and intercept though. And get the reclaim uh, destroyed. Does not look like he's going to be able to do it. That gun should stop it. Yep. Desperately trying to uh, get around there with these last two ticks and put a stop to any resurrection that's going to happen there. But this has forced Zlow into a very defensive game so far. He's not been able to move out at all. And this is allowing Contra basically free time in his base. He is not worried at all. All of the attention is over on Zlo's side. And uh, Contra can just freely expand. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. <laughs> it actually managed to get round. The uh, Resurrect will happen before that. So it's not too big a deal. But it is very annoying. 
you should be able to just reclaim this tick. Yep. And Zlow is finally free. Free from the tick menace. And as we can see right now, because all of it's been like pushed over on Zlow's side, uh, Contra basically has no army as it is right now. He's got a few pawns and he's slowly amassing more and more pawns. Uh, whereas when we look at the amount of grunts on the map, we're at 18 grunts currently. And only, well, 10 pawns now actually. Not as big of a difference as you would think, but Slow does have all of his deployed and in a fairly decent spot at the moment. Another thing to note here, though, is that um, Slow actually queuing up a very, very long queue with this uh, constructor here, placing construction turrets in uh, places in between these solar panels. It's a lot of solar, though, but it does mean that he can reclaim this later on. Um, some higher level players basically call solars as very efficient metal storage. Because obviously it costs no energy to build them. They generate energy and then you just reclaim them when you actually need the metal later. Right now, he doesn't really need more energy. As you can see here, he's just completely overflowing on energy constantly. But that's going to change once he starts getting a bit more build power in. And... Slow has not really been able to make the most of his very forward start position here. He's not managed to take control of any of these middle bits. And uh, a lot of spectators watching this one. Oh, this is potentially dangerous though. Slow is not aware. But right now there is a very large group of nine pawns moving around this north side here. And when it comes to defenses, it's like it only has a couple of pawns scattered, grunts, sorry, scattered around. And they're giving a bit of an indication. Now Zlow has decided he's going to attack at the same time here. Slow has spotted those forces and does have some units nearby, but not really enough to contest. Here come the grunts coming in on the bottom. A very, very large wave of grunts, actually. Will they be able to accomplish much? Not at the moment. Contra is aware that there's more of them down there. But, uh, on the north side here, these pawns are still alive. They haven't been dealt with. Slow, not really paying attention there, and it's cost him dearly. He had the numerical advantage there, but let it slip. Slow, very weak on this northern side. Constantly trying to have to react again, and this group of pawns will manage to make a dent to Slow's economy. Gonna make it through. No units to stop this triple max here. He's gonna get destroyed. He sacrifices a pawn there to uh, delay the forces behind him, and that triple max will get taken out. He's hoping that these are gonna have been built as well, which they only just started. Slow like going for the construction bot instead, and he manages it. So, having problems right now. Big, big problems. Uh, he's losing the middle as well. As Contra is managing to push in substantially and managing to get the first kind of metal point along this middle area. And, I don't know. It's just not looking good for Slow right now. 
So we can see, metal-wise, Contra has a 50% metal lead on metal produced right now. Energy and build power is on slow side, but that's not going to be the case for much longer. Is there we go? Slow's lost another construction bot and maybe about to lose another one. Gonna see a good. Nope. D gun has been self destructed, but unfortunately isn't used as efficiently as he'd hoped and doesn't get an additional um, port at all. Slow making a mistake there with his fight command, and all the units just ran around the hill rather than actually towards the enemy units. More holes being exploited along the top here as slow just constantly having to redirect forces to all of the pawn pushes and unfortunately oh, actually interestingly enough we've just selected contra here we can see that contra has a massive stockpile of metal right now he isn't actually able to use it quick enough This just shows how much metal there is on this map. And if you're using uh, bots, which are obviously very low metal cost, um, how you can just push out a massive amount of units. And Contra is spending a lot of time microbing rather than trying to find a way of using that metal. And this is a lot of wrecks left on Slow's front door. There are a lot of potential resurrected units there. We can see Contra actually basically just limited by energy right now. He desperately needs more energy. He's investing in advanced solars, which will turn that around very soon once he gets some time. But Contra does manage to get the first of the uh, plus three metal extractors there in the middle. And yet another massive wave of forces moving up towards Slow's northern side. Slow is aware of them. And he's to buy time for his res bots to get up here and resurrect all of these units. You can see army value is still only just towards Slow's side. So, unfortunately, not paying attention for a split second there. Some units managed to kind of get through and do a bit of flanking damage, which has caused him to lose more forces than needed right there. And uh, But a lot of these units look for of getting resurrected. And if this keeps happening and Contra just keeps sending stuff up here, and he's not able to control the reclaim field, it's not going to be a game that Contra can control for very much longer. He is throwing units away constantly. And the units are just compounding and compounding. And Slow is going to have so many more units than Contra in a very short span of time here if he's not careful. You see, he is now controlling this reclaim field at the top just for now uh also just wanted to quickly mention here vehicle plant being built now by slow now this is going to force contra to maybe have to change his game plan out of it a couple of these pounders will stop any sort of attack from grunts only you can see here Contra starting to run out of units on this north side. Oh, but he does manage to get round. And the Resbots are going to take some losses. Manages to force the fight back. Giving Contra's Resbots some time. Now, I, I'm honestly surprised that Contra is still just constantly throwing out bots we do see a vehicle lab now but three factories on the go is uh quite an orthodox 
the uh, amount of build power there, though, that they have is enough to force slow back again. As there's a massive hole now has appeared, and he's just completely overrun him. The horde has just taken his soul. Meanwhile, this very stupid fruit here should have focused that to begin with. And we're about to see all of Slow's backline now get taken out by this complete swarm of units. Meanwhile, though, Slow has decided to push in for the units that he had on the southern side. Trying to do a bit of damage here. He has split them up a little bit to try and get like, spread across a large area force Contra to redirect his forces. He did send, so did send some uh, brutes up to the north. But those will probably get taken out quite quickly. There's a very, very large quantity here of units um, that are able just to surround those forces entirely. And these forces here of a uh, mixture of pawns and blitzes do manage to get through into Zoe's windmill farm. And how close are they going to get? They will get eaten up, so that's not much of a worry. Now, we're going to see a transition to any form of tech 2. No. Still more fighting taking place on this north side. So much action just taking place on the north side. Yet, the middle has been mostly just stable. Not really much happening in the middle whatsoever. Minefields and armed metal extractors are going to slow slow Contra's reinforcements down a little bit, but not at all. Are they medium mines? They are medium mines. But look how many res bots are here. 4.8k of reclaim on this north side. And everyone's just fighting over the north. Contra has been freely able to expand uh, in the back lines, keeping all the pressure on slow. And he's now managed to get uh, a Cortex Engineer. So he has the full unit arsenal. The swarm tactic is working out in Contra's favor. Just res all the things. He's basically become the scavenger AI right now. Res everything and hope for the best. Oh, he's actually eating it. So now this is a good idea. He's losing his front line, losing control of it. Uh, well, the units there at least. So he's eating as much of it as possible to try and stop the enemy being able to push. Now, dangerous position here though as he sent all of his forces around this top hill. He doesn't really have anything left. That mine does a good job. Takes a good chunk out. At the same time, Slow is in danger. Commander cloaked. Will this be enough? Will he be able to get a nice D gun off here? Uh, oh, interesting. Decides to not go for a D gun and let them walk straight into his base. That's surprising. He must have known he didn't have enough to D gun both of them. Now, this is almost looking like an entire base swipe here for Slow. But. Contra's commander in danger here. Slow's entire base is going up in smoke as we speak. But Contra's commander is surrounded, desperately running for the water. The D-gun's going out. Contra at 70% health, 50, 20. And Contra's commander gets sniped from the middle. Slow with no base left whatsoever. And... Very dangerous position the Contra was in, and it paid off for Slow. Very well done, Slow. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.